Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival 1.3.2 now and uh, very nearly had to wipe the server again due to a giant cock up but we didn't get there it's fine everything's fine everything's fine now we still have a bit of some issues with frame rates sliding around all over the place and invisible patrol ships killing everybody on Oscatoon. other than that things are great now the other thing is now I've I've I'm picking up this recording after finishing the last one, the last episode. I, In between those two, I have gone to sleep, right? I've gone to bed. I've had a nice night's sleep. Had some breakfast with a wife. Blah, 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 blah. Everything's fine. Logged back in this morning. And this is what happens when you start on the same planet as your faction when you're trying to record a Let's Play. They, while you're sleeping, get very, very busy. And I'm not talking about busy <laughs> no g genuinely like the bloody seven dwarves hi ho hi ho it's off to smegging work we go one freaking night they've got two cvs and an armada of svs hvs a tower of doom and uh, all the resources i could possibly need or want in order to spawn my own sv in seriously <laughs> These guys do not rest. They do not rest. <laughs> wow. They have been exceedingly busy. Um, this was just a few survival constructors, tents, and some emergency oxygen generators when I left it last night. Uh, and, and now this morning. It is the, the madness. The madness, I say. Uh, I've got to give it to the IWC faction, all the guys in. I mean, there's only a few of them on this morning still, uh, but bloody hell. <laughs> so my whole thing where I wanted to get a quick start, get off the planet and go uh, and try and get back to the sort of state. It's not going to take very long at all. Bearing in mind, the state of the game that I was in before the wipe... Um, was was prob several weeks behind where the guys actually were. I mean, they were already busy in progenitor space getting all the progenitor stuff, uh, and I was still messing around with the starter CV. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not, when I think about it, not overly surprised that this is just one night's work for them, to be honest. Here I go, I'm sliding off again. Wee! Maybe it's just really slippery on this, on this frozen mud. It is minus 22, mind. So, uh, the ground is frozen. Maybe that's the slidey slidiness. I'm still sliding. <laughs> what? Carry on. Fix your slidey stuff. It seems like... Oh, now I've got to quit and continue. It's all going well. It's going well, ladies and gents. We're going well. 1.3 has been just nothing but a joy for us. It really... Oh, it's still going on. It's still going on. Even now, it's still going on. Anyway, what am I going to do today? Well, other than sliding around um, uncontrollably, it seems, I want to try and get an SV in and, and, so, and somewhat be kind of useful to these guys, but honestly, they really don't need me. They are just off on their own little mission to <laughs> colonize space very, very quickly, it would seem. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and get an SV in and some, some, be somewhat useful to the guys, um, because I feel like just the sort of handicapped invalid of the group right now, dragging everybody down and sliding along the ground like a complete and utter penis. See that light there? I'm seeing stars through the ground. So the sliding thing has is some desinky thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I'm going to stand this side of the cooler, so if I go sliding again, it can stop me from sliding around. I've got an little SV that I, I whipped up in creative mode quickly last night. It's got four passenger seats in it in order to sort of take some people with me and stuff. Uh, but honestly, I, I don't even think the dropper is entirely necessary now because, well, you know... They've got plenty of stuff. They don't need my crappy SV taking up the the, the space, do I? So I might spawn in something cheaper uh, and and easier on the uh, on everything. Oh God, I'm gonna have to relog because these quick continues are just going nuts. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, the surge is quite expensive, really, in the grand scheme of things. The rest of us goes in blah 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 blah. Um, but one of the things that we did, one of the things we did in order to speed things up. Uh, for those that wanted to speed the, the early game up and just get sort of on with it again, is uh, we set CB Survival, which is a server um, thing. Uh, what have I done? Uh, a server sort of command you can run in the chat, and it, and it will give you a bunch of... Re we set it up so it gives you a bunch of resources, but you'll need a, con a container controller to pop them into. So this is what you're looking at now, is the culmination of you know, this many faction members and more because this is actually quite a few low numbers for uh, for the IWC faction right now. 
this is the culmination of everybody doing that CB survival command and getting a stack of every single resource. The only resource you don't get a stack on is carbon substrate because we run out of slots. You can only have nine slots. There's more than nine resources. So there's plenty of stuff in here. <laughs> Um, and I was I was literally about to say that the, the thing that we don't have very much of at all is Promethean, but here we go, eight stacks of Promethean. Um, it looks like it's actually Pentaxid, uh, of all things. It's probably the lowest. So what I, what I may do is pilfer the faction supplies here because they are plentiful uh, to get myself a ship that I never actually managed to use in the last one, but I'm very excited to use in this one. Uh, is the Cargo Frog Mark II. Now, the Cargo Frog Mark II, if you're not familiar with my original Cargo Frog, it was a hideous ship dedicated purely to the hauling of cargo. The Mark II, be the Mark II because of all the CPU changes, it only has 10k storage, but it has all the other luxuries that the Cargo Frog had, including a warp drive shield and some nice GAT cannon. Plenty of upgradability as well. There's some room in there and lots and lots and lots of thrust. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm going to pilfer the faction resources, bring in the cargo frog, be slightly useful, go warpy warps, and get some pentaxid for people. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, the only issue I have is I only have a, a mechanical drill, which is fine. It does the job, eventually. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, we're going to bring in the sky miner at some point. I need to he reach level 20 and all sorts, and, and hopefully... Bonsoir Cargo Frog is going to help me do that. Oh, am I not even level 15? Oh, oh crap. What level am I? Nine? Oh dear. Well, I've got some leveling to do. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you know, there's some Xerax stuff over here. Here we go. Bastions, drone base, temple. Um, this thing's on its own. What are you? Don't know. Can't tell. Okay. The, the listening post that we took last time, I could probably take that again, maybe, if it's regenerated. I don't know. It doesn't look like it is, but then these things don't update Elder's Tomb. That's always fun. These things don't update um, until you actually go to them and rediscover them. So they might be regenerated. They might not. Either way, I need a way of getting around. And I think rather than spawning in another cheap little starter SV and taking up even more resources, I may just borrow someone's... Yeah, there's like iron toads and stuff around here, like this little green one over here. Um, that seems to be Isaac's because it's got his name on it. Sorry, Isaac, I used your toad uh, just a minute ago to fend off a drone uh, base attack, so... Talon Hunter. Ooh, is somebody attacking the Talon? That seems really barbaric and, and annoying. Um, I don't want to take somebody's thing without permission. This is the problem. There's plenty of little ships here, and I'm sure they probably wouldn't mind me just hopping into one of these toads and flying off and doing stuff. They're probably why they're here in the first place. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to just take someone's stuff, them log in and go, Oh, where's my ship gone? That seems a bit rude. So... <laughs> Revising the plan again. Once again, we'll revise the plan. We'll go back to the flash. This'll be it. Right. This, is, this isn't this is exactly expensive. It's quite cheap. So... Um, it's not too bad. I don't feel like I'm, I'm cheesing the uh, faction out of resources by getting the flash in. Let's do that. And then um, I need to go and level some. So I guess we're going to go over to some Xeraxy stuff and see what we can take down. Other than that, it is a case of maybe doing the story missions again, which of course I did before. Um, but I can always just run them off camera. I, there's no need to take you guys through all of that text again. I need to get to level 15, get my warp capable SV in, and then we can go warpy warps around this local system uh, and actually be useful to the faction. So, yes, like I said yesterday, this is going to be a bit of a kind of... Well, this is not a completely fresh start. It is, as far as the server is concerned. It's not, as far as the series is concerned. I am going to skip over a lot of the stuff we literally just covered in order to get back as quickly as possible to where we were before this pesky reset happened. Even just having the flash here um, makes me so much more mobile and, and I, obviously I can exist in the cockpit with oxygen and it's warm and I'm not f so I'm not freezing, dying to death of various, um, uh, you know, planetary, atmospheric, environmentally kind of problems. Uh, so the most of the stuff that I'm picking up from just sort of running these POIs again is going straight into my factory. But uh, other such things like, you know, I'll, I'll probably keep this little bit of fuel on me. That's going to become useful. Uh, but as for everything else that I sort of pick up, 
I'm going to chuck it into uh, the various boxes here, and then I'm going to just sort of keep running backwards out and forward, uh, back and forth to to get more levels. I'm to level ten, just doing that listening post again. I'm going to go and have a look at that elder's tomb. Where was it? There, it's quite close to this Xerox uh, stuff here, which is slightly risky. But if I could do that one, I think that would be pretty good. I think that's good. Ancient outpost. I don't think there's anything to, with that broken radar again. I don't think. Um, but yeah, like I said as well, I need to need to start going through these missions again to get the XP and credits uh, needed for those, because that's the other thing I need to do. Let me just quickly land a second. I need to check because these miracle workers in the IWC faction here um, not only have they created this this tower of doom but they have dug it into the ground <laughs> it goes quite far down and then behind here is a bleeding teleporter <laughs> and that can take us to this trade station over here shablang and uh, and then we've got access to traders <laughs> It's incredible. Now, of course, I've got no money. I've got well, actually, I've got five thousand credits. That's pretty handy. Um, I'm not sure how much I can get for five thousand credits. Not a great deal. One thing I am hoping to get, however, is maybe an insulation boost uh, to keep me warm. The temperatures around here are shockingly bad. Multi boost, a transportation boost, multi boost. Oh wow, six thousand, man. I'm going to have to bring some stuff over here to sell in order to kind of get some credits. I don't have much on me. Um, a few bits of ammo. Maybe I can sell my laser pistol charges. Uh, my C4 perhaps. I could probably reacquire more explosive. Christmas coffee is for sale. Interesting. Um, and, and this guy, yeah. I mean, my Xerox combat rifle would, would do it. I just got that thing though. And it's the best gun I've got so far. So I don't really want to part with it. But I don't have any ammo for it as well. So... Um, it's a tricky one. <laughs> the M6 hollow sight pistol that I've just picked up. Um, yeah, it seems to be that, that uh, I'm, I'm sort of... I think none of these guys have any um, boosts that I want anyway. The multi-boost is possibly the only one um, that would help me at this time. But that's it. That's it. So although I have access to traders, they are useless traders. Um, but still, from, from this teleporter... I think we can probably then relay onwards to a number of trade stations, even in orbit of so Omicron sector. There's Kennex Station up there. We know Kennex Station's got some good stuff. So, so yeah, I have options, but I need stuff to sell first. So we have a few bits and bobs back at the base, but not a huge amount of sellables. But I think those missions, those missions give you credits. So. At the moment, I'm kind of like, do I go for um, the POIs, get levels, or do I go for the missions, get credits, so that I can easily do the POIs to get levels? <laughs> this is what I mean. It's, it's a conundrum. Uh, I need ammo. Um, I need the rifle rounds. And there are none, so we need to, again, pilfer the faction's resources here and uh, get some more rifle rounds. Okay, and then we'll continue on. Now, the Elder's Tomb is a fun one. Not so fun in the middle of uh, Xerax territory. When it's surrounded by guys like that. Oh, and the drone base is right there. <laughs> Along with other uh, Xerax POIs. And I only have six rounds of my sniper rifle. Uh, this guy is gunning for me. He is coming. He is coming. And I'm going to kill him. Oh, no, he's going to kill me. I'm ruining this temple. I really am. <laughs> there you start. Busy with your friend. Ow, ow, ow. Did actually manage to pick up a little few health vials at least from the uh, Talon. This Talon walking in front of the... You at least, like, kill the mech or something, Mr. Talon. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> He's just running in front of my fire. That would be wonderful. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I did manage to get some, some health pods from the um, from the, the listening post that I did there. The, yeah, the, the, the Elder's Tomb here is an interesting one because it's Spider City, and I don't have a flamethrower yet. And apparently, I can't aim today. Um, at all. 
I mean, it, this gun isn't great. Ah, yes. Son of a... What? Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm dead from a spider. That's how desperate things get in the early game. Look at all these buggers. These aren't just spiders. There are ripper dogs here as well. This is crazy. Look at you all. I see you all. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't give for a flamethrower right now. My little tier one shotgun will have to do. Which is crazy. It's been an episode or two ago, I had a goddamn epic shotgun. These guys are a nightmare to try and hit. All over the shop. I'm not sure I'm ready for this, guys. Not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, I'm so not ready for this. I'm definitely not ready for this. Yeah. Ha. <sighs> Loot. Ah. Uh. Damn. I think somebody's beating me to it. And, uh, all the bugs and stuff were here. They just, I don't know, run past them, ignored them, took the loot, and got the hell out. And now I've come in, and all the loot's gone. Just the bugs left over. Oh, well, this is bitterly disappointing. Oh, oh no! No! No, there's too many! No, there's too many! No, there's too many legs! No, there's far too many legs! You all need less legs! Get away from me! Why are there so many legs? Oh, my lord! Ugh. Oh, Christ! There are not enough bullets in the world. There are not enough bullets in the world. That's that machine gun done. Doing it for the XP, baby. This is all for the XP and the steak. It's nothing like spider steak. The spiders in sp Oh my god! <laughs> It's a spider ball. Woo! Take a jump now! Oh, I hope you don't have arachnophobia, guys, because this is hell. I Honestly, I don't think it's possible in this POI to kill all the spiders. There's just too many of them. I'm out of shotgun rounds. I'm out of shotgun ammo. I'm out of rifle rounds. I am out of sniper rifle rounds. I have pistol rounds only and a survival tool. Uh oh. And now I'm out of pistol rounds. Oh god. It's chainsaw time. <laughs> uh. Hi. Kindly take this C4. Bye. Don't move. Don't move. Stay there. That's it. Stay there. There you go. Bingo. That's what we're talking about. They're still alive. Ah! Die. Well, after reloading, waiting for the, the POI to regen, this is the loot that I got out of it, which is a uh, nice jetpack mobility boost. Which is good. I might apply them when we get back to the base. So laser rifle, laser cannon. <laughs> Some Russian Sarcosium. Actually, a bit of pantaxid as well, which is nice. No ammunition, though, uh, apart from minigun rounds, which are useless. Uh, lots and lots of meat to go in the fridge, which is great. Um, yeah. I need to get out of here. Uh, there's no ammo, and um, there's still plenty of bugs. <laughs> oh my god. I'm down to just a chainsaw. 
Ah! Get off my face! Stupid bug. What are you doing alive? Should almost certainly be dead. Okay, I, I think I've overstayed my welcome now. I need to, I need to go. I definitely need to go. I need to go. I can't be around here with nothing but uh, a chainsaw and a dwindling biofuel supply. <laughs> when that runs out, I am thoroughly screwed. I'm pretty sure there are like a hundred other loot containers in here somewhere. I I I I just don't have the have the means to 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 kind of explore that at the moment. I, I just I just need to go. I need to go. I need to I need to recharge my O2 tank. Ah, I'm suffocating. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, this is nice. This is not nice. I, I retract that statement. It's not nice. Oh, meds. Meds. Meds are always in the bookcase. Ang! No! Damn it. Damn it. Oh, this is good. I've spawned the wrong side of the base. Uh, please don't kill me, drone base. Or laser mechanoids. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. Ice. Plant fiber. Spiders. So many spiders. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> ah, get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Shotgun Xerax. What are you doing here? Have you ever taken on a shotgun Xerax with a chainsaw before? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, I've got shotgun shells now. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, shotgun Xerax. Uh, hi, Sniper Xerax. Please take my shotgun shell to your face. What are you doing here? And why aren't you defending me, warrior? So-called. Whatever. I need to get the hell out of here. Or more Xerax show up. More spiders inevitably show up. And, uh... Or hell breaks loose. They're on my ship! Ah! Ah! I'm under attack! Can't lift off! They're taking my ship apart! There are any spiders, but they're doing damage! Oh! Oh my god! I'm free! <laughs> Look at that! They took a block right off the top! Two blocks! Bastards! There are any spiders? Sons of beans! I'm gonna have to repair that now! So it's only been... It's only been a few hours! I've only been out and about for a few hours! I've only been out and about for... You come back to the base, and... There's even more stuff here! <laughs> And not only that, let me take, I'll show you what they've done. They, they've been busy. They, they will not stop. They will not stop. They're an absolute machine. Texturing has happened. LCD stuff has happened. More containers. Uh, bigger, a bigger garden. Doors have been inserted. Constructors have been inverted. Furnaces installed. I, I, I just can't believe the these guys just don't. Yeah, a never, a never ending chain of of work and activity uh, not only that you might notice the heavy sniper rifle that's in my hand because um you know i came back to base here and the first thing i did was check out all the stuff that they'd managed to get and drop off the, the meager pathetic amount of stuff that i managed to get and then the guns and ammo box is looking very healthy with things like lasers and heavy sniper rifles and stuff i thought well, i'll uh, help myself to one of those thank you very much one of them was very kind enough to give me an improved light armor as well and uh, I'll very, very thank you. I'll, I'll help myself to that. I did go around the traders uh, briefly on my way back from the, uh, uh, the the ancient temple thing, whatever it is, elder tomb, uh, to to look for a trader that could sell me an insulation boost. I found none, but uh, you know there was one back here at the base because the elves or dwarves or whatever they are, some kind of uh, fantasy creature that never stops working uh, of the IWC. Has, uh, you have just been bloody busy. So anyway, th that's that's just uh, that's just a thing, and it's 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 tricky. I never really kind of let on. I never really visited the faction previously. This is the first time we see them, and obviously we wipe the server now, so it's all a bit weird and wonderful in the middle of a Let's Play series. I know, but they they were so far ahead of me, uh, <laughs> and it's really difficult to do recordings because I can record maybe I don't know five to ten hours of progress a week. These guys do five to ten hours of progress a day. <laughs> so, you know, uh, the, the time sort of disparity between my progress and their progress are going to be skew if. So a lot of the time, 
uh, I am going to have to go off on my own in order to record and, and do some stuff. Meanwhile, they will continue to expand the Empire into unbelievable pace uh, and progress, and then we'll keep coming back and go, bloody hell, they've now built the mausoleum or something, I don't know. But yeah, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and do the, um, the story missions in order to get credits and uh, stuff, XP mostly, because I'm still way down in level 13. I need to be, what was it for the cargo frog? 15. So only two more levels. It shouldn't take me too long. And also I realised that we need to go through these bloody things anyway in order to get progression into other storylines and stuff anyway. So um, here we go. I'm going to go and do this. I'm not going to take you guys through it because we did this at the start of the series. There's no need for you guys to sit through this again. But I would like to remind you, of course, that, you know, I'm going to have to suffer through it while you get a very nice you know clockwork transition to the next scene and then there we go we are level 15 i have progressed the story up to amongst the stars where we actually need to go into orbit now uh orbit is still as dangerous as it was last time now i mean last time i went up into orbit and it was fine we didn't even encounter a problem but we're much earlier in the game now i don't think as many people here on omicron have actually been up in orbit and so I'm not going to test the Flash's capabilities with the orbit. Because you remember the story next has us running between various little space stations in order to repair stuff. And then obviously we, we get IDA into a new satellite and stuff like that. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> For those of you that haven't watched, I cover this all earlier in the series. So again, I'm not going to cover it now. But what I am going to do is going to head back to base now. We're going to dismantle... Uh, the flash here, bless it, it's done well uh, as always, it's, it's a wonderful little starter recipe uh, available in my workshop if you're interested we're now going to bring in the cargo frog first things first of course, like I said dismantle the flash after emptying it of course come on guys, get out of the input box and here she is just like that we now have a warp capable shielded SV uh, that is going to help us get through to uh, the resources that we need for our next. And next, of course, is our, our bless it. Our bless it, the old pioneer. I'm going to bring her back. Um, my uh, my my ship that I'm building and chilling in the building is still not ready yet. Plus, I think it would be way too advanced at this stage. We're going to go back to the Pioneer. I'm going to try and upgrade it to where she was with the laser drills, the extra uh, CPU, the extra storage and everything like we had her just before the wipe. And we're going to continue our voyage off into space as before. Now, I still need a fair bit of resources here. One of the main ones uh, being iron, of all things. 17,000 iron we need to get. Uh, the other one is the where are the extended uh, we don't have any extenders yet because i haven't actually put the upgrades in yet it's a tier one cv of course it is or tier two i think it is um yeah i can't remember i can't remember whatever it is i think it's tier two but uh, reforged doesn't have tiers it's all yeah our minix i think it's got the tier two extender the basic extender in it which gives it a little bit more cpu but yeah we need a lot of copper silicon carbon substrate thirteen thousand of the stuff and seventeen thousand iron as well now iron is actually local um, but the deposits have obviously been sort of ravaged already uh, by the server starting up and everybody sort of jumping on and so all of these deposits I imagine will be limited so we still need to go out about I also need to get pentaxid I don't think the base is a huge amount 1600 raw in there in the old consumable boxes the boxes are becoming a bit of a mess at the moment because uh, so many guys on as you can see currently occupied by someone so I, I'm not sure we've got the pentaxid in order to run many cvs into um the distant stars for more and more seem to be coming in <laughs> the mcnr mcrn pioneer over there um this invader thing dragoons tortoise cigar box and so on and so forth so yeah um but yeah this is the kanga frog mark two she's back baby uh, she's quite upgradable as well uh, in that you know you can add extra guns there if you want just take that kind of range findery type thing off the top there and away you go uh, extra guns but you will need to slot in some more CPU extenders oh and she does actually have uh, as well turrets which is a twin GAT turrets top and bottom uh, and then the manual fires on the side oxygen 
Oh, hey, here we go. We're on the roof. Oxygen station right there. Uh, cargo box right there. And, uh, and then you've got fridge in here. There's an ammo box. There's our 10,000 storage. Uh, and everything else is just behind these glass panels is there for show. That's it. Oh, and there's an armor locker right there. You could just about see the lip of it. Um, but yeah, it's right there in the roof. Now you can see it from there better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. Very simple craft. Uh, but lots and lots of thrust, as you can see. Lots and lots of thrust. Now there's three layers of down thrust on this. There's a down thrust uh, around about there, there, and there. Uh, so you get a lot of lift in various stages as well. Super lift is available on this bad boy. We're just over CPU by 98 points. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, if we could add one more uh, extension in there uh, once we get it. I didn't want to put another extension in there just for the sake of 98 points, you know. Uh, so if we can get one in there, there's a nice space right there. We just remove these two half blocks and slot it right in. There's another space there. If we remove those two half blocks, we can get another one in and so on and so forth. Can't imagine we'd need to expand it more than one extension but you know we can if we can if we want to but yeah there we go this is going to be our ship for a little while while we gallivant around our local solar system but first of all i need to fuel her up get her loaded and armed and we can continue or i can continue rather uh the story missions to continue getting the xp and stuff from um among the stars and then obviously off world grave is still not ready yet the million is still working on that one so uh we're not gonna be able to do that one just yet either um, but then we'll be pretty much back to where we were apart from the make contact with Terran forces uh, The progress that we made on the dead planet ones. We only got two of those logs. So that's not our big loss We can quickly regain that as well And then of course it is just getting back to the stars the pioneer and stuff. So uh, Yeah, we should be back where we were pretty quickly after this reboot thanks to the IWC faction so to round today's episode off, uh, we're going to take down the drone base uh, with an Outbutter Starter CV, the Cargo Frog, and a bunch of lunatics uh, from the IWC faction armed with survival tools. A <laughs> flamethrower. <laughs> actually, that, that would actually be good. It's worth a shot. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I mean, if anybody's got a, a, a ship here, just start shooting at it with your gats. That should drop it uh, quicker. Oh, no, like, I just need to really suck at it. <laughs> at least that's what I've seen. I this tried is... something uh, totally silly. I tried the, uh, the survival tool because it has infinite ammo. Oh, it that, does. That'll, well. he that'll help. Yeah. And oh, it's a laser yeah. weapon. <laughs> I forgot that actually works. The Xerox probably think we're all drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck are they attacking us with survival tools? Oh, I mean, you know, I think this is the only time I've actually seen a attack of the drone base. <laughs> 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 survival drone tools. Base. That's survival amazing. Tool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's going down. <laughs> like crazy. And that's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> wow. It really is working really well. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. It can't damage anything, but it destroys the shields. <laughs> 58%. Are you two crossing streams? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is going to take a bit longer now because we're all using multi tools. Or, uh, survival tools. <laughs> the, the, the turret's still going for it. Nope. Wait until the 0% is gone. Or... Does it stay gone or is it. No. There it goes. There's... Right, that's it. It's gone. Right. Bear in mind we can still be shot, so don't get cocky. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> great kid. Don't get cocky. <laughs> the nobles just got to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's gone. Uh, that's one. Oh, there's two more up there that are listening. Hold on, there's, there's some, some Xerox inside. Back. Oh yeah, they're probably like, what the fuck? No, it's still there. Oh fuck! Be they're oh, being boarded. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I got stunned and I couldn't move. Uh, and then the big one got me. Alright, so Geronimo! Another turret. 
all the guns that could hit me are gone anyway, so. No, there's still a big one over there. Yes, yeah. yes but he, ah. uh, if you watch, he doesn't shoot you most of the time because his his gun is behind the uh, tower that's there. I got the laser Zerx. He got me, nice. but I got him. <laughs> I'm on my way back. <laughs> oh, shit. How many? Ow. Ow. I've still got 31 charges. Yeah, I've still got 31 charges, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Oops. I was w waiting for the uh, respawn screen. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? <laughs> I was uh, respawned on the wrong side of the drone base. Where's the uh, front, anyone, anyone front door on this thing? Closes. Oh boy. There's a turret there, watch out. <laughs> don't go that way. Right, right, right. Don't go, pa don't there's, go there's past. Both, me. both corners, sure. there's, there's turrets. Anyone got C4? Yeah, I got, I I got, got, got four give me, of them. Give me a sec. Or explosives. I got... Oh, crap. That's a pretty poor place. A nice Shit, little lag. One over there. I've got my backpack back, so. There we go. I'm down to one charge left. Hold on, guys. Oh, Alright, that one's gone. <sighs> I have uh, one, one charge. Another turret right there. Yep. Yep. There's a troop transport over here. Troop transport It's not going to do anything, you may as well ignore it. But there's another couple more turrets up there too. They can't touch us when there's more than I think we're under their gun depression. Yeah. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Ow. It's a rocket Xerox. Oh, ow. That hurt. Yep. I got mutilation. Anyone got anything for that? Pretty much a death sentence, I think. Nope. Uh, um, there's if you can get back to Udo's CV, there's a med a med station in there. Yeah. I'm I'm dropping it here. I'm dropping mutilation right there. Boom, right in front of me. Oh, thank you. I've got <laughs> <a few laughs> points if anyone needs, all right. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Do we have, uh, two C fours. No, I'm, 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 I'm out. I've got I've got I've got thirty left. Where you want me to put them? That yeah, guy right I'm there. Sure. That guy. Can't. Hold on, I lied for a second. On this one right above me? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, I got it. Got one. That's it. Da -da -da. Nice. Thanks. On this. To your right, to your right, to your right, to your right. Gone. Xerox. What the fuck? Reloading. Something keeps shooting me and I don't know where it's coming from. It sounded like a sentry gun somewhere. Yeah. Xerox on the left. And Xerox right. There's a turret on the right. Damn. Watch out, Udo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can crouch, but I can't crouch. This seems fair. Uh, left hand side going around this turret. Uh. Don't forget to get I the spawners. 
Anybody got a bandage? Ten here, give me a sec. I'll drop you five of them. Where are you? There you go, right, right in oh, front of me, oh, right here. Thank you very much. Open wound, sorted. I totally forgot that I needed to heal. The next time when I die, I will bring... I'm decon kits, if anyone in needs. Range. Nice, we're doing a drone base. There's a switch, should I flip it? Flip it. I flip yeah, it. It, it unlocks the door. Here, Luke. Yeah, flip it, I it unlocks the, the door. Here. All right. I'm already out there. there. Going down. Oh, wait. Do we have to dig this out? Houston, we have a problem. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We There's have a, a big drop. problem. Uh, that should not be there. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 POI has been recently updated and done badly. <laughs> yeah, that should be you should go up another level. So this is where we get shot through the dirt. I have no gas. <laughs> wow, this is brilliant. Survival tool comes again. <laughs> See, I told you, you guys were dwarves. Yeah. The question is, does anyone know where to go? <laughs> that is a very good question. Yeah, once this is dug out, um, once it regenerates, it shouldn't refill, so... We're doing the server a service right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. And yeah, but you should probably have a couple of dudes standing with a couple of guns on them, just while we're digging this out. They're probably going to pop out at us and shoot us. That's Got it just... covered. Okay, uh, Udo, you're going in the right direction, I remember now. It's past the shield generator, keep going, and then there's a door up this corridor on the left. I don't have a laser drill, so I'm pretty much useless right now. Oh, yeah, stand I'll guard. I'll see you, Gun, you, you guns out. Guys with guns, <laughs> when they get when us doing this gets shot and killed. <laughs> You can retaliate. Yep. Thank you for digging us out. Here's a bullet to your head. That sounds about nope. like it. Who blew that up? I hear something. I heard an explosion too. No, I heard a ground. A, a... Oh, flamethrower oh, yeah. Xerox somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. I got my. Maybe I'll uh, give him. Oh, and a shotgun Xerox as well in the ground somewhere, I guess. Uh, maybe, guys, maybe go back to the elevator shaft and use your drones to dig out. Yeah. Use the drones, yeah. Yeah. and then uh, it should be less, less deadly. <laughs> less, less. There's definitely shotgun Xerox and flamethrower Xerox somewhere in there. You can't shoot them until you dig them out. It seems like the shots are coming from inside the shoulder and iron. Yep. Yeah, it does. Because they're yeah, also they're shooting through, through the ground because they can see us because they're underground. Nope. Oh, and they got my. Uh, there you go. It, it, was, it was your drone and not you know. Yep. Your life. Find the oh, shot, dude. One. He's dead. Nope. And there's another one. Yeah, there's a spawner okay. right here. Yeah, let, let me blow it up. Watch out oh, for the flame drone! <laughs> <laughs> On the right! That rock is... Yep. Yep. Trying to clear it. Yep. I'm clearing it. Ooh. Nah, mate. Nah. There he is. 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 Oh, dogs. <laughs> Shit. I'm dead. Yep, I couldn't see because of all the flames. He down. He's almost dead. Wow. That guy nearly right. killed us all. <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> My game just crashed. Yeah, we, yeah, a lot of people have been getting that around here. I don't know what it all is. Right, Maybe because this POI should not be underground. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are getting that around here. I don't know what it is. Maybe because this POI should not be underground. This is a bug. I was, and uh, I was at the base and got As the official crashed. bug fixing team, I'm spawning in a voidium drill and I'm going to clear this shit out. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> So I'm gonna go move back because there's no <laughs> shit. A lot of shit that's possible. Yeah, the shit is gonna spawn quickly. That's a negative, oh, Ghost Rider. I'm afraid this is an admin privilege only. <laughs> um, uh, this is this a negative. Go into GM with a oh. damn volume drill and dig the place out real quick. <laughs> on it. Excavation heard, mode. Uh, those little robot 
get uh, machine gun things. Oh, we stand by boxes. while admin <laughs> excavation takes place. Ow! Sorry, am I in the way? <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> no, I do the I do the buttons and I get this. I get. <laughs> God damn it! Every time I peek my head around this corner, I get open wounds. <laughs> yeah. Right. So there was that's why suddenly because when I extended it, I got the ding sound. I got the um the the family of fortunes or whatever you call it in America, whatever it's called. It's like so I was getting right and back family feud. That's it. Every t as I as I was extending the motion sensor, I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing! That was brilliant. <laughs> that one's quite that one's quite apt, isn't it? Really, for retracting for retracting the uh, sensor, you get Nelson from The Simpsons. <laughs> it's just like, oh no! There's the core, then. <laughs> oh, there's there's a turret uh, behind the door. That time I got a round of applause. Bravo, everyone. Hey, drone base dead. Nice. Oh, Whoa, very it. nice. All right. Nice. Connect to connect to a bin and let's get deconstructing. I'm in dump one. All right. So we had to start over. It looked like there's. Are we on Oscatoon still or? Yes. Omicron. Oh, oh, that's what I said was Ama Kron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it. I heard it. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely Spencer. heard it there. I heard it there too. Well, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. One drone base conquered and shield brought band down at the start thanks to the survival tool, which of course, infinite ammo, energy weapon. Uh, it takes a long time, but between, I don't know, what, five of us? We managed to get it down at the end. Uh, good group of guys on the server. Uh, always a pleasure to play alongside them. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.